Usually, when a living thing dies, it decomposes, decays, but sometimes, ever so rarely, it petrifies, turns to stone. Petrifaction, not putrefaction. 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 You can't do it. For a living organism to petrify, there have to be special conditions. For example, a natural disaster occurs and the poor deer is immediately trapped in an airless environment, buried under some volcanic ash or knocked into mud or sand during a flood. Petrifaction happens most often with trees, but every so often a petrified tooth or bone is found. So imagine the surprise in 1869 when workers digging a well on a New York farm found a fully intact human body that had turned to stone. It was over 10 feet tall, so many believed it was proof of the giants referenced in the Bible. Since people claim to be alarmed and afraid of corpses, but actually love them and can't wait to see them, people began coming in droves to see this body, even when the owner began charging to see what would become known as the Cardiff Giant. Eventually, a group in Syracuse bought the body for over $37,000. This is when a paleontologist came in to examine it and was like, guys, this is pretty obviously a fake. You didn't even try to hide the chisel marks. Even the guy who made it was like, yep, it's a hoax. But here's the thing, people just kept right on coming to see it. It was so popular that P.T. Barnum tried to rent it. The owner said no, so P.T. just made his own petrified corpse man, which was even more popular than the original. Now, why was this man made of stone, a statue might be another name, so popular? People sometimes just choose to ignore that something is a hoax. Mark Twain himself was actually involved in a petrified corpse hoax a few years earlier when he wrote in a Nevada newspaper about the discovery of an alleged 100-year-old petrified man. Twain was actually mocking the rise in petrified corpse stories. He was thinking he's doing hilarious satire, but it backfired and people just went right ahead and took his report as fact as well. Some petrified corpse mysteries may never be solved, like in 1884 when the coffin of an infamous Seattle Madam, Marianne Boyer, was dug up when the cemetery was being turned into a park. Which makes me wonder, why not both? The Undertaker described her coffin as weighing 400 pounds, and when they opened it, you guessed it, she had turned to stone. Had she turned to stone? Probably not. She had only been dead for 11 years, and the cemetery was actually known for its flooding, hardly an airless, bacterialess environment. Some have suggested she may have looked like she turned to stone because she was covered in adipose air or corpse wax. Oh, look at the time. Perhaps corpse wax will make an appearance in another episode. But until then, remember, remember you, will you will die. die. And that's your Morbid Minute, brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you. Turned to stand.